what is up everyone this is your boy Eddie here on Texas Reeling I hope you guys are having a great day as you can tell by the title I will be making some jigs I'm going over to Blumenberg Texas where my friend Mike has his, a shop if you guys haven't yet checked him out make sure you go check him out on YouTube 4D Fishing or go check out his website www.4dfishing.org got some awesome stuff great baits make sure you go check him out but I'm going over there with him today. I'm gonna he's gonna show me how to make a jig from beginning to end. We're gonna start off with the hook and we're gonna go all the way to the very end, tying it, putting on all the weed guard, painting, all that stuff. We'll go over all of that. He's gonna talk about the process of how to do it, showing a few steps here and there along the way. So I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm gonna make my own jigs, my own custom colors. I'm gonna choose the colors that I want and uh i'm excited guys so i'm gonna record a little bit on the way up there so this weather has been kind of crazy it's been sunshine one minute rain the next minute i know on the way up there i'll be running into some rain but i'm gonna take you guys along with me and kind of show you guys the way up there and just a few different shots of different things so this is my first time going to bloomingburg i'm excited and uh yeah let's get to it guys There's that nasty rain that we were talking about, guys. It is coming down. Guys, it is pouring down. I can barely see in front of me. I can barely see the white line. But yet, I'm still vlogging, huh? All right, I'll get back with you guys. Smolten. Stir it around. So it's gonna pour real nice. And then this is our spin cast machine. And I can adjust my air pressure. The air pressure on this, I'm gonna open this door, you're gonna see this clamp coming down. See that, that clamp comes down. Okay. We'll put the mold in here. When I shut the door, this clamp is going to come up, and the air pressure is going to hold it mold tight. Okay. This channel right here is where I pour pour the lead into. Mm. So it's going to go down in that, and that's going to be spinning at 600 RPM. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be that mold's going to be spinning. When I pour that lead, it's going to be a centrifuge, and it's going to push all that lead out. Okay. And each one of those molds has stops where it stops the lead. Mm -hmm. So it starts, it stops and it mm -hmm. fills back. Okay. And there will be a little bit left in the middle that we'll recycle and put back in there okay. and reuse. So I'm going to adjust this down to about 26 PSI. I'm going to lock it in right there. When it clamps it together, mm -hmm. it gives a little bit of uh, friction there. So okay. it'll grip onto it. It's right there. You sleep and you'll feel it. Notch right in there. All right. Settles in. So when I shut that, it's fixing to clamp down. And my timer, it, it holds it for two minutes to make sure it's tight. And it make sure it has enough air pressure built back up. Okay. And then after two minutes, it's gonna start spinning on its own automatically. All and then right. we can pour the lead. What are those uh, spacers for? 
Um, they the leave, guards? they yeah, they leave a hole for the weed guard to go into. Okay. So the lead molds around them, and then after it's finished, and we pull the weed guard out or pull the spacer out, and the we weed stick guard the is weed there. guard in. Okay. These are Teflon, so the lead does not stick to them. They slide right out. If they were metal, then the lead would stick to them. All right. So then this black line matches up with that black line. And I'm ready to put it in the spin cast machine. Off it goes. All right, so we got it up at 850 degrees. It's molten. We've got our half ounce football jig mold in there uh, for Eddie today. So we're fixing to cast pour this molten lead into uh, our spin cast machine and it's fixing to run. So here we go. And then I'm going to set my timer for three minutes. And I'm going to let it spin for three minutes. And after three minutes, it's cool enough where I can touch it and handle it. Okay, our timer's gone off. So we're gonna stop this, we hit the red button. I wait for the RPMs to stop all the way. Once it's stopped, I open this door and it's gonna drop down. You'll see it dropping down. And I take it right out. And then we open it up and we're gonna see what it looks like. So I've got a little bit of flashing here that I'm fixing to pull off with uh, my needle nose pliers. And so far, it looks like we've got some good product coming out from that one. So I'm going to take this out. And I can handle these. These are not too hot to touch. So three minutes later, it went from 850 degrees to normal room temperature. So I'm going to take this Teflon out. I just pull it out of there, put it over there, and I take my needle nose pliers, and I pull all this little flashing off. Some of it gets in your eye. Sometimes I've got a drill, we just drill through there, one sixteen cents a bit. We drill through there and clean that eye out. But I'm gonna sand that down before I put it in the paint process, but I wanna do a little bit of pre-cleaning to get that uh, extra stuff off. So we've got 10 jigs in, uh, in this mold. So we're gonna clean these up and we're gonna get them rolling. All right, so in this jig, Sometimes you have lead in the uh, eye after you cast it. This one's clean, but if it was uh, did have lead in there, I would take my drill and I would just drill that lead out. It comes out really easy, especially since we just got through casting it. Okay. okay? So, but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in my vise, clamp it down there real nice and tight. And I'm just gonna go through here on this seam. This is where the mold was connected together. There's a little bitty line that comes all the way down here where the two pieces of the mold were together. So we wanna file that off because I don't want that in my final product. So I'm gonna come through here. Let's take a little metal file that I got from the hardware store, local hardware store here. Let's go through here and put a little bit of time on this football head. I'm not really worried about looks at this point. I'm worried about is it smooth? Because the paint's gonna take care of the looks. So right through here, I'm just gonna run my file through there. The main part I'm concerned about is this head of the football jig here because the skirt's gonna be from here down, okay? I still don't want any real sharp edges right there on my skirt. And then I'll flip it over. And I'll file this backside here around my weed guard hole. filing that down and now we're ready to go to paint with that jig and uh, Eddie's gonna paint up uh, black on uh, his jigs today and uh, if he wants other colors we can switch over those but uh, uh, Eddie's the boss today he gets to pick <laughs> what he wants uh, whether it's a uh, jig color uh, head color uh, skirts um, we're gonna get him set up on uh, anything so um, not just doing this for Eddie anybody that want, I told Eddie anybody that wants to do this I'll show you how to do it uh, you can come to my shop if you're a hands-on person some people are some people aren't but we can uh, I like working on these so uh, anytime you want to come by we can uh, definitely work on them
right now we're fixing to preheat all of our jigs. And these are the ones that Eddie just uh, got through making. So Eddie has gone from bear hook, he cast the uh, lead on these, he's filed them down and now they're ready to preheat the paint. And we're gonna set our timer at five minutes. All right, so our five minutes up, we're fixing to transfer these into the paint booth. They're gonna be hot. And there's Eddie's football jigs right there in the front. So once I've got them there, they're hot. They've been preheating for five minutes. We're fixing to paint up. Shake the can when I'm painting so I get good airflow through here. So I'm gonna do one dusting and then we're gonna switch and we'll let Eddie uh, do uh, another one. So I'm gonna dust in the back. Get a good solid coat. I try to get a different angle on it, that way I get a coverage on both sides. A little bit closer. There you go. And you want to be more on top, that way it dusts down on top on it. Like this. Yeah. Let's check it out, see how you did. And that looks good. That's a nice thick coat. You can see it's kind of, it looks matte right now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna shine up when we heat it up. Okay. Cool, cool. We're gonna put them in there for another five minutes? 15. 15 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna cure them for 15. show you this first one look at that nice shiny that uh, looks good it's hot so we're gonna set it over here let it cool okay so first we're gonna take our head we're gonna put it in the vise make sure everything's tightened down real good so I'm gonna take my line I'm gonna do my base wrap here one two three cross over the neck there to the other side of the neck I started out between the hook keeper and the neck so the first three are, were between the hook keeper and the neck. The next three are gonna be between the neck and the head. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna cross back over. One, two, three. And then back over the neck. One, two, three. So that gives me a good base. And I've got a little bit of line that I was holding on to and I cut that off. I don't need that anymore. So now I've got my base, I'm gonna take my skirts and I'm gonna arrange them. We've got typically I put three skirts together to make a jig. Uh, a jig. If you wanted three skirts and then three strands of another color, or six strands of another color, that's that's within acceptable range. But if you go under three skirts, it gets a little thin. So I'm going to position these tabs to where when I cut this bottom tab off, it's right below the hook, the bottom of the hook, okay? So I'm gonna position that to where it's right below the bottom of the hook and I'm gonna squeeze right here by the head and hold that and I'm fixing the wind eight times. But I'm gonna stop after the first one, I'm gonna kind of gather it and I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. So after the first one, I spread a little bit, I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna go eight times. So that's two, three, four, five, six seven eight because i do not want that to come off then i'm going to do three half hitches uh some people do one some people do two i feel better about three that's just me so i'm gonna do a half hitch here there's one two that's a third half hitch and we'll cut my line and I'm going to gather the end of the skirts and I'm going to cut these tabs off. Take it out. I'm going to fluff my skirt. Now sometimes it doesn't come all the way when I tie it. There's a little gap right here. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to move this skirt around. 
just like adjusting your shorts. Move that skirt around, now it's full all the way around. It lays hood, and Eddie did a really good job of picking this color out. I like that. Okay, with that jig head and everything, it's a nice color combination. Now, Eddie wanted to, Eddie's customizing all these jigs, so he got to pick out his head color, his skirt colors, he got to pick out his weed guards. Eddie wants um, the green pumpkin weed guard on this. So we're fixing to glue this in. We just use regular Gorilla Glue here. That Gorilla Glue is no joke. No, it's a clear stuff. <laughs> yeah, no joke. It don't, it don't play. So we're going to put just a dab of glue right down in the weed guard hole. If you get a little extra, no big deal. It's in there. We'll take it out and we're going to set it right over here to dry. We'll stand them up and they're going to dry. Ooh, that looks nice. It's going to be hooked. Might have been too long. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Three. Uh -huh. Switch one, two, three. Switch one, two, three. One, two, three. Yep, yeah. that's good. Now you're gonna get good at this. Your wife's gonna expect you to start doing some chores <laughs> yeah. around sewing stuff now. All right, and then now you get your skirts. Now we get my skirts. Uh, so we'll do this, this, and this, like this. Get them evened out. Not halfway. Eight times. I'll do it once and then we're gonna spread it. One. There you go. That looks good. Six, seven, eight. Good. And just make it a little bit longer. And then you're gonna do your half hitches. There you go. Just kind of cut it off right here. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then you cut your tabs. tabs. And then we fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. You got it. Good job. Bam. And for the weed guard. There you go. let it sit there. Yeah, I'll let it sit and dry over there. Good job, Eddie. All right, guys. So these are the jigs, the final product of all the jigs that we just made. These are all the colors that I picked. I ended up making 10 different ones. They came out real good. Thanks to Mike. And if you guys haven't checked them out check out all his products got some great stuff I'm gonna leave all his information down in the description Mike doesn't just sell jigs he also sells these beautiful shaky heads in different sizes
So if you're a big shaky head fisherman, and this right here, if you haven't watched the other videos of me using this Marco Polo, you can check them out. Um, I have those down in the description also. Uh, these are called Marco Polos. These things are great, great. You can fish them different ways uh, with different baits. They work, guys. Make sure you guys check them out on 4D Fishing. Uh, Mike also has a video on how you can rig them up. Uh, wacky rigs and different other types of rigs. Make sure you guys go check them out. Buy you some jigs. And like Mike says, bring more bass to the boat. Alright guys, I just left Mike's shop. Man, it was super cool watching these jigs come together from beginning to end. I mean, you start out with nothing but a hook and you end up with these beautiful custom jigs. I mean, the process of it was awesome. Learning how to do it was super cool. Thanks to Mike. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me over. Had a great time. I can't wait till we go out and uh, make a video. Thank you guys once again for watching. And most importantly, guys, don't forget to keep it real. It's your boy, Eddie, and I'm out. Peace.